Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. And I promise I'm almost finished with construction. We're going on like five years now of dirt work, but when it's all done, all the concrete's done, oh my gosh, is it going to be nice. All right, so, and I need to sell you this trailer to help finish the construction work. So help a guy out here, okay? Check it out. 2017 Wildside 36-foot liftgate trailer loaded to the max with options. Wildside built down in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Very small company, but they produce some of the finest products. Um, some of the nicest craftsmanship in the trailer market that I've ever seen. And there, there's a lot of competition in the trailer market. Now, in a trailer like this, I mean, you've got, you know, Wildside, T&E, Gold Rush, um, Performax. Um, that's just a few, 5150, s But Wildside is, is up there. It's up there in the rankings. Again, very nice cra uh, craftsmanship, uh, nice lines, everything straight, clean. But anyways, let's get down to business. 2017 Wildside, 36 foot with the Watson, uh, I think it's Watson Shalin, correct me if I'm wrong, I think I'm right, 20,000 pound air ride axles. So it's got three super single 20,000 pound air ride axles. And again, as I said, it's outfitted with all of the bells and whistles. The big stainless enclosure, as you can see up there on the tongue, inside that, that's got your uh, batteries. It's got a 100-amp service, uh, breaker panel, 12,000-watt uh, own-end generator. It's got an onboard diesel fuel tank. Um, I think the generator's got like 700 and something hours. This trailer has not been used much at all. So up in the front, you got your fuel tank, your batteries, 12,000-watt own-end uh, your air compressor, and then it's got a train mini split system. So one uh, condenser with two heads. There's one of the heads is in the top and one of them's down in the bottom. Equalizer systems, hydraulic landing gear there on the front, which makes it so much easier to um, hook and unhook the trailer. And those two big doors open up on the front up there. So those open up. Of course, it's all louvered vented to get plenty of circulation to the generator and to the um, air compressor and the air conditioning system. 36 foot overall length. As you saw on the other side, it's got the double side uh, entry door with the sliding glass doors. And you can put the awning. It's got an aero awning system that comes with it. And this is the expensive awning. This is the one that has the electric and the airlines all ran through it. And the cool part is you can put it on either side of the trailer. So uh, when they built the trailer, they put the brackets on the left and right side. So technically you can pit from either side. Michelin tires are dated 2022 and they were installed, uh, I was told, late 22 or early 23. So the Michelin tires, I'm going to say less than 5,000 miles on them. And they are the 295 ADR 225s, the big boys. And again, super singles, 20,000 pound air ride axles with air brakes too. There's a smaller door back here. So this trailer was built for a drag racer. And that's something very common you'll see in the drag race market is the, the little door back here on the back side. Um, Lift gate, huge opening up top. I think it's I think it's 57 inches. I'll have to look back through my um, notes, but I think the upper deck height is around 57, I believe. Hydraulic gate with hydraulic tilt. Again, another big option. Most of the time you see uh, just the lift gate chains up there, but this one with a hydraulic tilt, you can actually you know pitch the gate up and down uh, to load those uh, super low profile. Uh, sports cars or, or drag race, top fuel, um, you know, pro mod, whatever you're racing or putting in the trailer, it should accommodate it, no problem. Down here on the bottom, uh, rubber coin floor, you've got the airline track system in numerous places, even got some on the wall, loaded with aluminum Technocraft cabinets. Uh, Technocraft, one of the leading names in the cabinet business, uh, located down in Tennessee, so made right here in the States. 
Um, you've got the little uh, drive-on ramps there to where you can pull a um, Mini Cooper or a PT Cruiser or your pit support vehicle. Uh, Custom-made ladder there that goes through the hatch, which uh, gets you to the upper deck, and then you can continue on. Uh, there's another hatch. Let me see if I can get that one in the, the video here. There's another hatch up top there. You see that? So you can go on up from the bottom all the way to the roof. And the roof is a one-piece aluminum roof, so uh, fully uh, capable of, you know, you can put the whole crew or whole family up there on top of it. Again, 36-foot long hydraulic lift gate with a hydraulic tilt option. I can see a backup camera. So this trailer is already wired with the backup camera. We can, uh, we can make this to where it hooks right into your coach and um, it plugs right up. Something else I want to mention on the awning system. This trailer already has the, uh, the electric and the air ran out here on the top. So you got two up here. And the reason there's more up here is, you know, the nose of your car is going to be up here where most of your engine work and stuff's going to be going on. Then you have another one there. Yeah, so three. So one, two, and three. Also got electric down here, and then there's air down here. So you can see air here on the bottom. And I even see one back there behind the, um, the very rear axle as well. So again, very unique piece I've got here for sale, 2017. I would say this thing passes for a 21 or 22 model on the looks. Very, very, very little use. And uh, what little use it did get, they took extremely good care of it. This was not used by a, a national team to run 40 or 50 races a year. I would say this thing's been used like 10 races a year, if I was guessing. Let's take a look at the inside. Sliding glass doors, 48 inch opening up here. You might hear a little background noise. That's the uh, stereo system playing. Oh, and compliment, uh, complimentary Chase Motorsports coach and trailer, limited edition rug included with purchase. The aluminum step you see there, that does come out and mounts on the door. Um, so that is removable. Again, aluminum cabinets all throughout, nice workbench space. Got your stereo, as you can see there, Sony stereo with speakers throughout. Um, the train, air handler, overhead cabinets. I love the, um, the pull-out toolbox that's built in. Nice drawers, very nice quality there. Oh, one of my favorite parts of this trailer I'm fixing to show you. Check this out. So this looks like a cabinet. You got a couple storages there and a couple overhead, but watch this. It's got a little shock that makes it, or doesn't allow it to just plop down. Check that out. Like converts into a little workbench, but when you're not using it and you need to pull stuff in up here, gets out of the way. Rubber coin floor throughout, easy to clean. We put a little um, chemical, I forget the name of it, but man, it does a good job. It makes those floors shine and squeaky clean. Um, got the Technocraft aluminum cabinets as well over the fender wells. So places to put your chemicals and stuff like that. And then the same deal over here on this side, you've got multiple shelves and look how clean this is. I don't think there's ever been anything in those cabinets. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I mean, I don't see any damage, scratches or anything. Carpeted walls all the way up on the bottom too. So no way of damaging anything. Let me raise this up. Give me just a second here and we'll look at the top. All right, climb up here. Hold on just a second. There we go. All right, so up in the upper deck, 36 foot of upper deck, airline track from one end to the other. Um, I see an air outlet and some electric outlets there in the kind of the middle. Nice lighting. Again, I'm gonna go up. There's your roof hatch, all of your aero awning uh, rails and supports, and you can see the airline and the um, extension cords that'll plug in that allows you to have power out there in the middle of the awning. 4,000 pound worn winch up in the front, your second air handler. So it'll keep the uh, upstairs air conditioned as well as the downstairs. Oh, and that's something I wanna or talk about. See that um, silver like I-beam looking rail deal? Let me kind of zoom in on it. This piece. So that actually is made to go downstairs and I'll show you where it goes. And that's like an engine uh, changing rail. So it's got a little trolley thing that mounts on it and you mount it to the um, the frame, like the ceiling of the bottom deck of the trailer, 
and it extends out the 48 inch side doors and pretty much is like a little, creates like a little engine changing rail. So very cool. The awning is included. It's up there in that uh, black and yellow tub. And then the spare wheel and tire. It's brand new. Still got the Michelin label on it. It's up there in the front as well. So back down we go. And I'll show you up here where I was talking about putting that rail. Okay. So you see this piece here. And then there's another one here. When you take those down, that rail system mounts here mounts here and then sticks out and creates a um, engine changing bay. So how cool is that? I'll touch on again the wild side quality. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, this was built by them in 2017 and um, I would order as many as I could if they would allow. They're a small company. Um, they don't build a lot, but what they do build is very incredible stuff. So let me know if you have any questions. I can give you dimensions. Um, I can give you whatever you need, but I think this video helps and explains a lot of it. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales. Check out all the pictures at chasecoach.com with a full description. And if it's on the website with a price, then it's for sale. Um, I will say this here lately, we've taken a couple deposits on things. So uh, it might be on there. It might be sale pending, but just call me. If you see it on the site, there's a good chance it's for sale. Give me a call and um, we'll go from there. I appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to throw it up there on the screen. We try to um, document and video and do lots of photos for everything we sell. So um, if nothing else, maybe it leads to a sale down the way with you one day or, or something like that. So hope you're having a great day and... Um, let us know if we can help you. Appreciate you watching.